Welcome to my channel, my friends, where you can find the best 3D printed toys. In this episode, exceptionally, I'm going to make a review about a small and fast 3D printer. Stay with me after the intro. I bought this printer for my own money, so I don't have any kind of partiality for the manufacturer. And I'm going to make an honest review here. The printer is small and fast. It's a Core XY printer, it means the nozzle moves, moves side to side and forward and backward. As each layer filament is laid down, the bed moves down to make room for the next layer. After unpacking the printer, automatically guides us through the calibration process and we can already print with it. Additional informations unfortunately are missing from the user manual, such as how to access the web interface of the clipper and how to use the webcam. But I hope this video will help you how to get access to these features. The quality of the hardware is quite good. As I unboxed it, I saw that there are some grease on the Z-Ax threaded rod which I find good as I have to make this maintenance later and I can use the printer straight away. The size of the plate is 185 times 185 millimeter big, which gives me enough printing surface for most of my projects. The plate is very sturdy, flexible and magnetic. It's two-sided and sprayed with a special coating which provide really good adhesion and easy print removal after cooling. I was originally going to buy more pie plates to upgrade the printer, but I'm very happy with this plate, so I won't. This printer uses a 0.4 mm Vulcano style nozzle with a ceramic hot end. This, with fast heating bed, means a new print never takes longer about 2 minutes. Important to know that we should not reinstall Kipper with the newest version on our printer. Quiddy made some changes on Kipper and we cannot use the printer anymore if we reinstall it. If we want to update the firmware, then we should download the latest version from Quiddy website. To connect the printer to the Fluid Browser interface, we need the IP address of the printer. After connecting the printer to the internet, we can find the IP address under Calibration Network. We have to type this IP address and some non-standard fluid part code to our browser, then we will have the access to the user interface. Here is my IP address and the necessary code. Of course, you have to use your IP address. After we have access to the web user interface, we can plug in a webcam to the printer. We have to enable it in the settings and we have the image. If we don't want to take up the only USB port on the side of the printer, there is an extra USB port on the board. With this extra USB port, we can build a permanent webcam into our 3D printer. With this, we can monitor our print through the web user interface and make some time-lapse videos. The printer input shaping works just fine, but if we want to fine-tune our printer with the fluid user interface, we can do it. To tune the input shaping, we need to run some commands, print a test cube and adjust the pressure advanced settings. I might make a video about this simple process in the future. The printer comes with its own slicer, which is based on a Pusa slicer, but it's a simplified version of it. The user interface is cleaner, but some features are missing. Fortunately, we can use other slicers, for example, Cura or Pusa slicer, and we can have all the features we need. There is a Prusa slicer profile on Quidi website and Cura slicer profile 
is coming soon. The Quidi XMART 3 is a great fast 3D printer that offers good value for the money. I'm very happy I bought it and I can recommend it to everyone who wants a small and quick 3D printer for a reasonable price. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like it, subscribe to my channel. Until then, I wish you happy printing and thanks for watching.